The next part of your Blue Belt Junior curriculum I'd like to cover are the seven rules of good sportsmanship and or sparring. Okay, these are vitally essential. Again, this is the American Academy of Self-Defense Life Skills Training Center. When we're sparring, we have all our equipment on, which we're going to cover later, okay? And it protects us. So rule number one in the sparring is it's only a game. It's not for real. That means we're not going to nail and hit each other. It's not self-defense where we're going to pull his eye out, hit him in the throat because he's got a gun and he's trying to kill us. It's only a game, it's not for real. Number two is never turn your back on your opponent, okay? And that, that is a life skill trait. If you're sparring someone, you don't want to turn and run away, okay? You have to face your fear, all right? So it's called never turn your back on your opponent. Number three, rule number three is don't get angry, talk to your partner. A lot of times in sparring session, and it doesn't matter what age we're talking about, someone gets hit a little hard, they retaliate back with a hard strike. That's okay in a boxing match or a kickboxing match or an MMA match where they're trying to win a competition, but when we're sparring and we're just working our techniques, it's not okay. We just need to tell our opponent or our partner, excuse me, that strike was a little hard. Can you, can you punch or kick a little bit softer, all right? Number four is talk positively to yourself. Now, this is vitally important. What this simply means is, like the little train that could, I can do it, I can do it. Instead of falling victim to fear, learn to embrace fear and then try to overcome it. So when you're sparring, just say to yourself, you know, I may not be able to get this puncher kick in today, but if I keep working at it, I'll get one in sooner or later. Number five rule is know all the rules. You gotta know all the rules if you're playing a game and all games have rules, so we have to know all the rules. And the number one rule, or the number thing we want to remember is no hitting to the face. Even though we're wearing a head protector, we don't want to purposely hit to the face. Uh, a lot of injuries can happen that way. <clears throat> number six is to smile before and after. If you're playing a game, you're supposed to play a game for fun, all right? So if we're playing a game, we're supposed to have fun, we need to smile before and after the game. Too many times in martial arts, I'll see where uh, there's a competition and at the end, instead of shaking hands, they just kind of like, yeah, okay. No, that's not it. If you lost a match to someone because uh, they were better that day, you need to congratulate them and say, good job. Number seven in the last rule is give a sincere handshake at the end. That's how we really congratulate. We would bow, put our hand out, shake them, shake their hand, look them in the eyes and say, Good job, sir. Thank you for, for the competition. Those are our seven rules of good sportsmanship. Thank you.